Hello everyone. Welcome to the 33rd exercise of Autodesk Fusion 360 Beginners tutorial. In this exercise, I am going to show you how to design this figure using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the figure and the tools and commands I am going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File, Select New Design. The unit I am going to use in this tutorial is millimeter. You can change it by going here. First, create a new sketch on the front plane. Go to Center Dia Circle. Select the center as the origin and give it a dia of 56 mm. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first point on this quadrant of the circle and give it a dimension of 56 by 25 mm. Under modify, go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions. Arrange these dimensions so that we can have a clear look of the current sketch. Go to offset command. Select all these lines and curves and provide an offset distance of 6 mm. Go to straight line command and close this profile as follows. Now turn on the construction feature and draw a vertical line from the origin and give it a length of 75 mm. Those who don't know what construction line is, it is basically a line which will not contribute in our current sketch but can be used as a reference for the sketching purpose. Delete this unnecessary line. Now go to two point rectangle again. and draw a rectangle from here make sure you turn off this construction feature and give it a width of 38 millimeter and you can provide any length we will adjust it later Now go to sketch dimension command Now select the origin and this line Provide a vertical distance of 50 mm Again select these two lines and provide a horizontal distance of 19 mm as follows. You can hide the dimension feature so that we can have a clear view of our current sketch. Now trim out some unnecessary portions.
also delete these parts and these arcs also now go to center dash circle again and draw two concentric circles from this point having dimensions 10 millimeter and 20 millimeters respectively go to two point rectangle again or you can use normal straight line command instead of rectangle for this instance select the first point on this quadrant of the circle and draw a vertical line up to this line here this icon indicates that this line is perpendicular to this line repeat the same step on the other side done go to trim again hide the dimension and also the construction trim out these circular parts and here is our sketch ready finish sketch go to extrude command select this profile change the direction to symmetric and extrude them up to 5 millimeter so that the total extruded profile will be 10 millimeter 5 millimeter on each side click ok turn on the visibility of previous sketch go to extrude again select this upper profile direction symmetric and extrude distance 15 millimeter change the extent type to whole length so the total extruded length will be 15 millimeter instead of 30 millimeter which was in the previous case operation join click ok hide sketch on create another sketch on the right plane go to center dash circle and draw two concentric circle on this part before that we need to project this whole body on our current sketch to do so go to project or you can directly press p to project selection filter specify identities and select these two lines turn on the projection link and click ok so these two line will be projected on our current sketch if we hide the bodies you can see these two lines go to center dash circle draw two concentric circles from the geometric midpoint of this line having dimensions of 16 millimeter and 25 millimeter repeat the same step here this time 
provide diameters of 10 millimeter and 20 millimeter arrange the dimensions properly go to two point rectangle again select the first point anywhere inside this circle and the second point anywhere outside the body go to sketch dimension command select this line and provide a total length of 4 mm now select this line and the origin provide a horizontal distance in between them 2 mm so that this rectangle will be positioned at the midpoint of the origin. Hide the bodies so that we can have a clear view of the sketch. Finish sketch. Now go to extrude command. Hide the bodies, select this inner circular profile and the rectangular profile. Turn on visibility of the bodies, extrude them outside, change the direction to symmetric and extend type all so that the profile will cut all the bodies coming on its way. Make sure the operation is selected as cut. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of sketch to go to extrude again. This time select this circular profile only. The outer circular profile. Extrude it up to 22 millimeter. Change the operation to join and direction to symmetric so that the total extruded body will be 44 millimeter long, 22 millimeter on each side. Click OK. Go to extrude again. Select this circular profile. Change the start plane to object. Select this surface so that our new extrude will be created from this surface instead of this profile plane. Give it a distance of 9 mm. Change the operation to join. Direction two sides on the other side provide it a distance of 3 mm. It looks OK, so click OK. Hide sketch 2. Now I am going to mirror this feature on the other side. So under create, go to mirror, object type features and for the object select 
this extrude for mirror plane click on the right plane compute type optimized and click ok now we have to remove this excess parts to do so under modify click on split body for the body select this one and for the splitting tool you can select this inner circle here you can see this circular profile will cut throughout the whole body click ok before clicking ok here you can see that we have only one body now click ok you can see here we have got our three bodies this one is the first one second one and third one we have to remove these two bodies to do so press ctrl and click both of them right click on them and click on remove Here they are gone. Now let's provide some fillets. To do so, click on fillet. Select these two sharp edges and provide a radius of 5 mm. Press enter. Right click, repeat fillet. Select these two edges and fillet them up to a radius of 10 mm press enter here is our figure ready let's provide some color press a to go to appearance i'm going to apply this paint metallic blue color on it Change the color little bit, increase roughness and reduce reflectance, done. I hope you guys have learned something new in this tutorial. Before ending this, I would like to say that this type of contents requires a lot of time to design, research, then recording all the steps recording the video voice editing and then uploading subscribing to this channel does not cost you anything but it helps me a lot it motivates me to create new contents like this see you in the next tutorial till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye